What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I have a very special guest today. I'm sure you are no stranger to Luke Barus. Uh, we are here at the content creator meetup in Salt Lake City. I have the very rare privilege of being able to talk with him <laughs> and meet him in real life. It is a honor of mine, I promise you. He is a fellow data YouTuber. He is an ex-Navy Submariner and someone I consider a friend. He is somebody who has hair that I am jealous of. <laughs> and he's one of the fastest growing YouTube channels in the data space right now. Our guest, Luke Bruce. Thank you for being here. Oh, uh, no problem at all. Thanks for having me on, Alex. <laughs> awesome. uh, I was super appreciative whenever you told me about this. I'm like, yeah, I want to be on Alex the Analyst Show. Like, <laughs> heck yeah. Like, get me on there. Throw me in, coach. Well, you know, I just never get to, like, with my schedule, I never get to bring people onto my channel that often because yeah. either it's just really hard to schedule or, like, I work really late at night. Yeah. And no one's like, wants to stay up to, like, 11 o'clock right. and do an interview. <laughs> uh huh. So, like, most of my stuff, I only have, like, one interview on my channel. I think. I don't even remember who it was. I only have like one. Yeah, yeah. It's like, this is like a different style totally <laughs> for me. And I think it's, um, you know, it's unique because most people, when they interview you, it's, it's in the, like, they don't, they haven't met you. They've never usually talked to you. They're just like, Hey, would you do an interview? Right. And they ask like generic questions, which, um, I've had a lot of those and I don't mind them at all because, but it's a lot of the same questions. So hope I'm hoping to kind of get to know you as a person more, um, and kind of find some more insights, like into how you got to where you are and like your personal journey there. Yeah. Um, so if you're here to like learn more about like data analysis and stuff like that, you probably aren't going to learn that much, but this is much going to be much more um, personal, which, um, you know, maybe I'm just being selfish. That's like what I want to learn about, you know, Luke. So um, I'm just going to kick it right off. Awesome. Yeah. Let's yeah. Get I, just into have it. A I just have a list of questions. I'm, gonna be, I'm just going to be reading out these. <laughs> um, when... I think about like my journey. I think about like who've in, who's influenced me, not just in the data space, but like in my own personal life. Yeah. Who would you say has been like your biggest influence in your personal life and in like your YouTube journey? Oh, wow. This is like a, a, a deep question. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, 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 I told him beforehand this, so this is not like a shocker. Like <laughs> <laughs> who has been most influential? So in, in data and also YouTube yeah, or, you, you know, it could be, somebody who's like a book you've read or a person you've met or a family member who's influenced you. It, it could be anything. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'll get a little personal then. Uh, yeah. So me, uh, so this is, I guess I'll talk more about the YouTube content creation and stuff like that. Cause it's sort of, uh, it's sort of what inspired me mm -hmm. to, to get into that. Um, don't so, me. I just got to fix this. Oh yeah. Quick, no, go ahead. Perfectly fine. You want to go on and time that up? <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, well actually let's start with data first. So data first, I would say you and Ken G were actually some of the first people on YouTube, and mm -hmm. I was trying to actually find out. I'm not trying to suck up right now, uh, so I'll get. The, I'll I get... also feel ancient when you said that you're like one of the first people. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, uh, I would say that you and Ken, because I was, I, that, I mean, that's sort of one of the reasons why I started my uh, YouTube channel mm -hmm. is because there wasn't a lot of content. Like I was working as a data analyst, but not right. under that title, right? And I was like what uh like 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 what what am i like what what do i what am i called what do i do <laughs> and then i'm like uh like uh, like watching ken's channel and your channel yeah. and uh yeah just like it was a slow realization of like oh this is that's this is what, what i do that's what i do <laughs> that's what i'd like to do right and like if i have this question of um what this field is and and like what tools i need to learn and i'm i'm learning the wrong way and i need to learn in the right way mm -hmm. where uh obviously other people are going to have this question too right. so that was like a big motivator for me was to, to get into uh the youtube uh, content creation and i guess uh personally like why like videos and stuff like that like when we were growing up we were all about like family videos and my dad was always had a camera and like filming and i never really like noticed it at the time but then afterwards um uh after the fact like I, for some reason i always like gravitated toward a video camera and um it just happened that way that i like got into youtube and, yeah. and enjoyed making it do you need help with that you're right no i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fix it like live don't don't mind me we uh, got some malfunctions here, let me let me help you with that well, i finally that. figured out which way i'm supposed to turn this thing uh, uh, but okay so like while we're fixing this yeah. and wh while you're fixing it, actually because you're better at this stuff something that you were saying which is you didn't really know so it's interesting from my perspective because I started making content and this type of stuff because like tutorials, like I focus on a lot of tutorials. Right. Whereas you don't do a lot of tutorials. Right. You do a lot of like 
what to focus on, what to learn, that kind, that kind of style. Is, right. that, is that because, like what you just said, which is when you first started, you didn't really know what you were, you weren't sure, and you wanted to teach people that, so that, I, I feel like that's influenced like your content. Right, yeah, actually that's a good point, but actually the real reason, oh my goodness, I, this mic is too far away, maybe you can hear me. Uh, <laughs> but actually the real reason why, so I started off making tutorials, mm -hmm. But then nobody was watching. You know? yeah. And I was like, nobody, oh, they, were, they were pretty bad. I like, go back and watch them now. I'm like, oh my gosh, these things are not good. Yeah. Uh, very awkward. Like, what up, data nerds? Like, really, <laughs> like, like, like robotic. <laughs> like, Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, yeah, exactly. Um, and so I was like, uh, all right. And then I guess my first like out of the box uh, video was uh, how not to learn Python. Mm -hmm. And it was more, instead of talking about the tutorial aspect, it was more talking about my journey about it. Right. And uh, I actually found compared to do, cause I did actually had a Tableau tutorial and like a Python tutorial initially starting off. Mm -hmm. And um, they were fun. They were good to make, but then I found like sharing the journey and I like really like telling a story. Right. Um, and that's how the, the the channel has just evolved because I really like enjoy the the creative process yeah. and creating a story. But now you'll see like I used to be able to like with a tutorial pump out a video in like you know like three four five days. Right. Um, now with this like trying to tell a story and make sure it's like succinct. I mean I'm like at like two. Well I haven't made a video <laughs> in like three months, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm like uh, it's a much longer lead time. But mm -hmm. uh, I really like enjoy that and like it's uh, it's fun. It's interesting. So, you know, it's interesting that you say that because I feel like your quality of video is high, far exceeds anything that I've probably ever put out. Like every single one of your videos, which I'm sure is why people are like drawn to your type of video because it's very right. techy, very like really well edited, whereas mine are not at all. So, it was like that, like an intentional style that you chose or were you like, did you do research on that or did you just like figure it out? Yeah, no, that's actually a good question. So we had talked about yesterday, uh, you had talked about your, your watch channel. Right. Um, and I talked about my meal prep channel. So I, uh, before I got into data analytics on YouTube, I was, I was doing, uh, um, pe giving like meal prep advice cause I'm like into physical fitness and meal prep. Mm -hmm. Uh, that space, uh, is like completely saturated and like <laughs> there's too many people there. Um, so I was like, I gotta get out of here anyway for that. Uh, I was making a lot of like Instagram content mm -hmm. and also I was making YouTube videos of like overhead shots of like cooking and stuff. Oh, interesting. Uh, so you can like, oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't put the name out there. But, <laughs> no, please, uh, no, please. I, I, <laughs> but, uh, It'll be in the description, I promise you. <laughs> uh, it was called, uh, I think, uh, Meal Prep Made Healthy, and then I renamed it to uh, Macro Fit Meal Prep. Um, so it's like like a super targeted niche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very targeted, and like I was showing these videos of like, and that's where it started with yeah. like this editing. And I was picking up with uh, my dad gave me a book mm -hmm. on food photography, and that cool. was like the first thing. And so I learned about lighting and a little bit about video, mm -hmm. and then getting into you. Uh, so with the meal prep, I was making that, and then I gravitated into mine to where I was making the tutorials and very easy and super easy to shoot, right? Mm -hmm. And super easy to edit. But every time I make a video, I'm always aiming to implement a new tactic or a new thing. So if you like watch my first, like how not to learn Python, it's like it's sort of cringy. Right. And now it's like, it's just evolved over time. It's just, right. I always add like something, I learn something and try to implement it in the video. Cause mm -hmm. I just, I really like that aspect of right. it. And I feel like people want a, you know, it's like data can be sometimes boring. Mm -hmm. It's like, how, how do you, I, I completely disagree, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's always exciting. Uh, okay, well, sometimes I'm like in my room like, or in my office, like shooting, shooting content or whatever. And I'm like, okay, how can I get this shot of the computer? And, uh, <laughs> it's like, how can I get this nice shot? And, yeah. um, it's just funny how, uh, you can like do certain things to try to like yeah. entice people. So, yeah. And, and you know, Honestly, like I, I am somewhat jealous just because if I had the skills and I had the know-how or like the ability to plan ahead like that, I would try to shoot mine like yours. Yeah. But now you've already done it. So like I had, I wish I'd done that before because I would have loved to do that. Like I wish I could edit, learn that. But now, now I feel like you and I, we, we kind of work in parallel. We don't cross over too right. much, which is, I mean, mm -hmm. for the most part. Very complimentary. Like it's peanut compl butter and jelly. Exactly. And so like when I see your content, I'm like, dude, he kills it. I just do very different stuff. And, yeah. And mine is also like way simpler. Mm -hmm. So like we have a lot of crossover, but our, our content that we create is also very different. Right. Which, which lends itself to not making us like hate each other. Right. <laughs> Cause, exactly. Cause we make very similar 
we're in the very small niche, mm -hmm. so it absolutely could happen, but it hasn't happened yet from what I can No, tell. I think it's great. It's like, oh, I may make a video on how I use Power BI, but then it'd be like, oh, check out Alex's tutorial on Power BI, because this yeah, is really great, and exactly. you can get even more in-depth into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think so too. I've, I, 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 like, I really enjoy uh, your channel, and your, I mean, I've learned a lot as far as the different tutorials as well, so yeah. I really like how you do it. Oh, cool, man, I appreciate that. So, <laughs> You've only, you've been on YouTube doing data analytics for what, two years? Yeah. A year and a half, two years? Yeah, a year and a half-ish, too. So what's wild to me is like, YouTube is like a really advanced, really fast-paced world. Yeah. You, you, you get into it and you're like, oh, it's slow, 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 and then it like hits you. Right. And you go like warp speed, right? Correct. That's how it's been for me and I, I've seen it with your channel. Yeah. You know, two years is, two years to get to where you are it, it ramps up, but right. now you're at the ramped up phase. Like, what do you see? Where do you see your channel going? What do you see yourself doing for, let's say, the next five years? Like, do you have any goals or ideas of what you want to accomplish with what you have right now? Yeah, I want to go. I want to go full vlog style and just really? go vlog my life. Do you really? Uh, no, okay. no, I, I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, yeah, me and uh, Tina were talking about this recently as mm -hmm. well for uh, content shift, if you will. Right. Um, my goal, I would like to, uh, I want to continue to grow the channel. Mm -hmm. I want to try to, so right now really focused on data analysts and right. I really love data science and I love how it, um, how much it's helped us and how it, you know, it can help, uh, companies. And a lot of the stuff that we're doing is like mainly trying to help like some company or some business, if right. you will. Right. Um, no, uh, I don't really feel like it's for uh, individuals, individual, like the, it is individual development, but I don't mm. feel like it can be used for individuals. I so I would like to shift to is like sort of back to my meal prep thing. Uh, <laughs> and that, that, but, um, shift to how can you use data in your personal life sure. or, and to basically reach sort of a bigger audience to see like, Hey, this is what data science is. Right. And this is how you could potentially use it in your life. So maybe some like, Oh, like I, I like to track myself on a Garmin watch, maybe mm -hmm. something along that lines of how I can use that data to improve my lifestyle. Yeah. No, that's interesting. I mean, like you said, it, it's hard to think of like personal ways. I've done it with maybe my finances. Yeah. That to me is like maybe one of the only ways right. that I've used it like really uh, genuinely. Mm -hmm. I, I can find other ways. Right. But that, that's one that I've like actually used. Yeah. So yeah. There, and there are people who are super into fitness or health or like all these other things. And you can, I'm sure you can use it. I just haven't really thought about that. It sounds like you have. <laughs> yeah. I mean like, well, I, uh. I, uh, yeah, I'm like trying to brainstorm and like how actually I'm like, I, it's like testing me and that's yeah. what a lot of my videos do. Um, oh my goodness. I'm trying not to burp. <laughs> um, that's what a lot of my videos do. Like I'm learning on the spot too. And yeah. I'm like, Oh, like we have this good data. Like how can we use it? Like I'm yeah. a data analyst. I should know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something you just said and <clears throat> something I get asked a lot, which is do you, how do you learn? So you said I'm learning this on the spot, right? Which prompted me just to say, when I make my tutorials, mm -hmm. I don't know everything perfectly. Right. I usually know, like, if I make, like, I'm doing, like, a Power BI series, I, I know, like, 90% of that, mm -hmm. 80%. Some of those topics, I'm like, I never use this, or I haven't used this in a long, long time. I kind of forgot, and mm -hmm. I have to, like, research it. Mm -hmm. is, is there, like, a portion or, or a lot of research that goes into it, or do you know most of the topics that you make when you're making them? Yeah, ton, uh, I would say uh, a lot, and I'm actually curious to hear about your uh, prep period. Um, a lot of like, so like my, uh, what I do. Oh yeah. My recent Excel video, mm -hmm. uh, that, that one, uh, I, I knew, I'd, I would say basically being in our job, we've been able to be exposed to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So we know, Hey, what are the main things? So for example, this Excel video, what are the main things people should focus on? So now I know high level what I want to focus on and that's going to get us there. But then when it comes time to like actually make it now I'm diving into power query and what's the functionality of power query. Yep. It's like, Oh, I got to do some prep work for this because I got to make sure that I get it right, that I don't say anything yeah. wrong. Um, so like that, that Excel video actually was a little bit too excessive. That probably took me about two weeks to write, <laughs> oh boy. to write. And I still had to shoot it and then edit, edit it. it for another week. Yeah. Um, so a lot of prep work. Yeah. Uh, what about for you? Uh, it, it's, I would say pretty similar. I mean, <clears throat> you know, like you said, I, we get exposed to a lot of things, but you know, when you really want to like teach someone something, mm -hmm you don't want to mess it up right. and you don't want to forget something that's important right. because I, I, early on I kind of, I was like, this is what I know. Mm -hmm. This is great. But then I would be like, someone would write in the comments like, Hey, hey what about this? And I was like, 
dude, I absolutely should have included like, how could I not uh -huh. include that? I just didn't do enough research. Right. So now like I learn a lot about these tools uh -huh. from teaching other people. Right. And you know, it's always like the best student is a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like I fully believe that because you know, when you're teaching, like you don't want to, you, I don't want to give people bad advice. Right. You don't want to give people bad advice. Uh -huh. You want to make sure you're giving them a whole complete view of it. Mm -hmm. And so you, you really dive in super deep, yeah. more deep than I probably did when I was even like studying it or like using it in my job. Now I'm like, I don't want people to be like, dude, Alex, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like you yes. totally missed this like crucial piece. Oh yeah. That like, that's the worst feeling. Oh, it is completely. It's yeah. like, that's like, will probably hold me up the worst. Cause I'm just like fact checking, trying to fact check everything, yeah. double checking everything. I'm like, I do not want this to be wrong. Right. Cause <laughs> like, to your point, I think a vivid example, I did a comparison, a Tableau and Power BI, mm -hmm. uh, like a year and a half ago, completely didn't talk about DAX in Power BI. <laughs> yeah. And, and everyone like, wants to know about DAX. And like, and it's like, this is, uh, this is actually pretty major that I didn't talk about this yeah. one aspect. Yeah. Uh, same things happen to me. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's not uncommon, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you get so wrapped up and then you're just like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. And you also, you know, you try to teach the things like that you use in your job. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I didn't use a lot of like, like so, uh, just like random, like in SQL, I don't, I didn't use a lot of like store procedures, right. but I'm like, Hey, people need to know about this. Mm -hmm. They need to learn about it. I've done it to this extent, but you know, if I don't use it that much, I may not even think about adding it like my content right you know yeah and it's like uh that's and also a problem i run into because i'm like i don't use this but i need to like go research to see if other people are using it so if i need to talk about it still for others to know about yeah um and, and usually you can find something online yeah. uh so <laughs> you're 100 percent right all right let me see <clears throat> um in your life is there somebody who just like knows you better than anybody and how would the how would that person if they were here how would they describe you to like everybody out there oh really well just because oh, i yeah. asked oh, that yeah. because, <laughs> because you know we uh -huh. yeah. we we create these videos and sometimes we share about about our, right, right. our lives mm -hmm. but we definitely are like we talk to a camera right right yeah uh -huh. so it's very different than like a best friend yeah or like a, a partner or whatever. Right. It's very different how they view us. Cause my wife views me completely different than any, everybody out uh -huh. there. I promise you. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I, you know, I'm curious, like, is there anybody, anybody who like knows you better than like probably anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I would probably go with my, I have, I have two Navy friends. Uh, they'll probably be watching this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Alex and Dave and they, it's funny because they're just like, like you're completely different on camera. This yeah. is not your person. Cause I'm, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an introvert, but like if I, especially with people I know, mm -hmm. I'm very talkative and I feel like sort of outgoing and mm -hmm. probably say very, uh, inappropriate jokes and just like, like always messing around and just like trying to have a good time. Uh, but people I don't know so much, not the, uh, not the same. Uh, but I would think, yeah, I would say that's how they would probably describe me. I'm definitely like a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit uh, different and like socially <laughs> awkward around people that I, I know and, uh, and maybe enjoy uh, drinking the wine a little bit too much whenever I get around my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's great. That's great. I love that. <clears throat> all right. We don't have too many more. I, I, I'm trying to keep this intentionally like not super long because like we're in a house with a bunch of creators and they all want to like get, come get breakfast. So I'm like, you know, I'm trying not to get crazy long with these. Um, so you were in the, how long were you in the Navy and like, so I come from a military family. Yeah. I know the, how, how much they travel, the, the type of work is involved. You know, how has the Navy impacted your career and just like your personal life uh, and also like YouTube journey? Like how, how, how big a part has it played in your life? Yeah. Uh, so I was, I was in for seven years. I was in the submarine force of the Navy. Did you actually in submarines? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I spent yes. like two years of my life underwater. No That's way. why I'm also socially awkward too. That's so. great. Yeah. How, many people, how many people are like down there in the submarine? Uh, like a, a little over a hundred. So it's, it, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is. <laughs> um, yeah. And you're just like working shift work and you'll go out for, I mean, I would go out for like three or four months at a time, mm -hmm. not have any communication with the outside world and come wow. back. And it's like, just hear crazy news stories and like try to catch up because that's you don't crazy. have that much communication with right. the real world. Uh, Dude, that's nuts. Okay. Sorry. I cut you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's, that's wild. <laughs> uh, it's definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely a shock because you're, it makes you somebody, whenever I was first getting into, uh, into the submarine force, and this will lead into your question too. When I was first getting into it, they, you know, I was going through it and they didn't want to say like, it, it sucks. They mm -hmm. were like, 
hey, you're going to learn to appreciate things more. And, I'm like, <laughs> and I did. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And now I get back and like, uh, like I have in my office, I have to have a window. I have to mm-hmm. see outside. I'm like, I want to be outside. I want to see the grass. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I have to see the outdoors. And yeah. like, I, like, I appreciate the outdoors now from being in this metal tube. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what one is it, giving me an appreciation for that. And then obviously the military aspect of like structure and getting a job and a task done sometimes without clear instruction has Mm -hmm. really propelled me and like just getting my, uh, just getting YouTube and also my job done. And it, it, it's giving you a little bit of more of a self motivation. You, you would say, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just understanding like, like, like making the YouTube video, like mm-hmm. that you, you were talking about earlier about, uh, like, Oh, like the editing and stuff. It's just like, okay, I have to, I just do one small task at a time. I have little small goals along the way. I don't actually write out my goals, but little small steps along the way that I know I need to hit. And then eventually I'll just get to the goal. Right. And I, it's very much what I've, I learned from the military and uh, it sort of drew into yeah. YouTube. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I, again, I didn't join the military, but I come from a military family yeah. and they all are, is it, say very similar things. Like <laughs> my dad, my dad was, is like the person who I am probably closest with who's in the military and, mm. and he'll talk to me about it all the time. He's done several tours in Iraq, Iran, Kuwait. And he will always tell me, he's like, when I got back to the U.S., he's like, I never appreciated things more than I did then. He's yeah. like, it, the military just gives you an appreciation for like, the simple things mm-hmm. he's like <clears throat> like it was like 125 over in Kuwait yeah he's like we didn't have our own bathrooms uh-huh. our own showers yeah he's like when you when I got back and I took a shower in my own shower he's like it, it, it was like it was like the best thing he's ever experienced yeah so I, I totally understand that like idea of that um, but that's I mean that truly is like a pretty life-changing like not a lot of people can say they've done what you've done yeah I mean I, like, uh, I know nobody else who's ever done that <laughs> I mean, I highly recommend, I love, I mean, I loved being in the military, but I definitely had to get out. Yeah. Uh, um, I wanted to, I have like more of a creative side and that definitely military, very structured. Um, very so. much so. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <clears throat> totally like last question. I'm not going to keep pounding you. This is, this is like just kind of an open ended one. Okay. Like what is something that people don't know about you that you think is like really interesting that you're like, I, you know, I've never talked about this, but I actually think this is really interesting about me. Oh, wow. Really? I don't really know. That. <laughs> it's just nothing. It's not, there's actually nothing else. <laughs> uh, what is really interesting about me? Uh, so you I, should have saved the food prep stuff for what did, later. What, what, did, what did Ken say? I, I didn't ask him those questions. I oh. told you, I have individual questions oh, for every person. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's like a f- two or three that I overlap, but I did not ask him those. Um, really interesting about... Uh, I don't think... Actually, I don't... I would say, actually, I'm actually very boring. And I, I don't know if this is actually an interesting answer. <laughs> this is actually the worst <laughs> answer possible. <laughs> uh, but I'm... Yeah, I'm actually pretty boring. Yeah. And uh, I guess this will be my answer. Um <laughs> I like to, I have a certain, like, I guess, routine, if you will, every single day. So I like to make sure I try to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night, Mm -hmm. uh, work out at least one hour a day. And then from there, I base everything on my day around it. And Mm -hmm. I really feel like it's helped me in my life with having that structure of sleep and activity. And then it's fed into my creativity and also my work as a data analyst. Um, So I I I hate to say that that's like the interesting thing about me, (laughs) but that's like the interesting thing about me is like, I really like uh, uh, fitness and I really enjoy like getting outside mountain biking and using those activities to like fuel ideation and also my work coding or whatever it Mm -hmm. may be. Um, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm pretty boring. Uh, <laughs> but I, I mean, I like to mountain bike. I, yeah. I think that's pretty neat. <laughs> you should just live with that. I mean, yeah. my, my, my bike by itself is pretty, is like pretty unique. <laughs> All right. Well, Luke, thank you so much for coming out to the channel, doing this interview guys. If you have not checked out Luke's channel, which I'm sure most of you guys have, but if you haven't, I will have a link in the description, go and check him out. He makes fantastic, fantastic content all around data analytics. So, uh, again, Luke, thank you for being here. No problem. Thanks for having me on, Alex.